Hello, this is Eric from labofcoding.com. In this video, we look at how to customize the display and layout of fields in the forms that are used to create and update objects in the Django admin dashboard. I am now on the form page that is used to create a new blog. By default, Django will display the fields, the editable fields in the order that they are declared in the model. So in the blog model, if you go to models.py, you have title, body, uh, last date created, last modified is draft and slug. So the forms in the admin will only display the editable fields, but the date created and last modified are not editable. They are being populated by Django using the auto now add and auto now feature. So that's why we don't have them in the form. Again, so we will only have the title, the body, the is draft and the slug in that order in the form. But if, for example, you want to change the layout or you want to change the display or even remove some fields, we can do that. So the model admin class has an option known as fields, which you can use to declare the fields that will be used in the, in the forms. So in our case, let's say we want to have the title, then the body, the slug, and lastly, the is draft. We can save that. So we can, if we refresh the page, we'll see that we have those fields, and now the order of slug and is draft has changed according to the order that we've declared the fields. And if, for example, you don't want to use to set the is draft status when they are creating a new blog, we can remove that and it will be removed from the form but because we need it we'll just have it in the fields again if for example you want to have two fields in the same row we can use a subtaple in the in the fields tuple and those fields in that subtaple will be on the same row so let's say for example you want to have the title and the slug on the same row because they are related we can easily do that so what we can do we can put the title and the slug in a subtaple within the fields tuple. So, sorry. So that will be title, and then we'll have the slug. We can save that and we can remove the slug here. So, if we refresh, you'll find that we now have the title and the slug on the same row. So, this becomes quite useful if you have a form or a model which has a lot of fields and it can make it easy to group fields that are related on the same row. So that's it for this video. We'll pick up from this in the next video. Thanks for watching.